A news alert, an entire community on edge. Nearly the entire town of Colburn gathering tonight, hearing about the threat of another massive mudslide. This just days after a slide killed three ranchers. Lindsay Watts is live there. Lindsay, dozens have been told to be ready to leave. Yeah, Mike, and most of those people live on the street where we are right now. We are only a couple of miles from the base of the slide, the same street where those ranchers lived who were killed. Now, people here have not been told they need to leave, just that they need to be ready. The woman, though, who lives at this house says it's time to go. This is such a beautiful, beautiful, special place. After 14 years in paradise for Fran McKenzie, are you a good girl? She says it's time to say goodbye to her ranch and her animals. I did raise her from baby. And Valley, now scarred. Sad circumstances with our neighbors being lost. So, um, yeah, it's emotional. She was already planning to sell her property, so this just sped up the process of leaving. It's really, it's a really special place. The threat here now lies in this pool of water that's formed right above the slide. The fear is it will take down more of the mesa, this time devastating homes. What we're doing is trying to outguess the mountain. Seemingly the entire town of Colburn gathered to learn of the potential for a future slide. Right now it's a relatively small pond. They heard from geologists about plans to use a camera to monitor that water. The other piece is to put GPS receivers on this block so we know if it's moving or not. I'm just starting to pack up some things. Moving day for Fran comes next week. Parting with the beauty here won't be the hardest part. The people are just, you know, wonderful, take care of each other, wonderful people. So, yeah, that's really, that's what I'm going to miss. Fran is going to be moving in with her daughter in Arvada and donating that horse, Ariel, to an equine therapy center. Reporting live in Colburn, Lindsay Watt, 7 News. Now that mudslide even registering seismic activity at the U.S. Geological Service. Take a look at this. This is the seismograph. It goes along like this and then suddenly look at this. Two minutes into the movement. Authorities believing the main slide took even less time than two minutes, but it took another couple of minutes for the ground to settle down again. At the peak, that huge mudslide right there registering 2.8 in magnitude.